Hello, Greg Lasseur for Online Tennis Instruction. Welcome to the second video on how to hit a great kick serve. In the first video, we showed you a crucial fundamental that's necessary in order to hit a great kick serve. So if you haven't already watched that video, please click on the link below and watch that first as these videos build upon one another. In today's video, I'm going to show you a series of drills that you can go through to help you develop the feel for the brushing sensation through contact and the left to right swing path necessary to hit a world class kick serve. So let's first start by looking at the kick serve in slow motion. So over here on the right we have an example of the kick serve and we're going to compare it to a typical first serve which we see on the left. Now let's quickly review the left to right swing path which we already covered in the previous video of the series. And you'll see how I'm swinging from a left to right swing path up to contact. Then I'm going to finish out to the right almost parallel to the baseline. Now let's watch that again and this time we're going to freeze it at the contact point and compare these two positions. Now when comparing these two contact points, notice on the left with the typical first serve how the contact point is more in line with the hitting shoulder, where the contact point for the kick serve on the right is more in line with the head. Now if we look at the racket, you'll notice a steeper racket angle through contact for the kick serve. Now you'll also see how the racket head in relation to the hand is lower for the kick serve on the right. So a combination of this lower contact point and a steeper racket angle through impact will allow for more forward rotation which will give the ball a lot more safety but also get that ball to kick up high. Now let's go back onto the court. So as you can see with the contact point for the kick serve, the contact point slightly lower a little more to the inside and you'll notice how the the racket is moving diagonally up this way through contact and that's really important to get the ball to have a type of forward spin to get it to bounce up now often what will happen players may catch it too high or too far to the right as a result the the, the, the racket does this at contact so it'll give the ball more of a slice type of spin so in order to help you with that and develop the feel and get that brushing sensation there's a draw I'd like you to start with draw one is what you're going to do is you'll have your normal stance for serving and you're going to bend your arm your tossing arm and you're going to point your fingers up in this direction about 45 degrees to your right if you're right-handed then you're going to take the ball put it in your hand and with the strings you're going to brush the ball tracing your fingers this way and notice how I'm leading with this edge of the racket so I'm getting the idea of the brushing sensation through contact. And this is pretty much what's going to happen when I'm hitting the ball. So you want to start with this drill and do this over and over. And just make sure this edge is leading up. Once you can do that drill successfully, then we'll move on to drill number two. Okay, so drill two follows on from drill one, the brushing drill. Now we're going to complete the finish. So we get in the same position here going to brush the ball this way but then we're going to actually brush the ball off our fingertips. So I'm going to go this way and I'm going to finish this way and you'll notice how my strings start pointing towards the back fence. That will be, be ideal. Now when you start to do this you may finish in, in, in a manner like this but if you can try to turn the racket out more. All right, so I'm going to keep brushing the ball this way and you can actually see how the ball's spinning when you do this. Let's do it again. So I'm leading with that edge, I go one, two, three, and then finish. Now one thing you'll notice when I do that, and if you refer back to the first video, I'm also making sure I control my tossing arm. So as a reflex, my, my tossing hand comes to my right shoulder here, my hitting shoulder. So let's watch that again. So I go one, two, three, finish this way. And we'll watch it one more time. One, two, three this way. That so really helps me develop that brushing sensation. Now you can still modify these drills to do them at home. So I'm going to create a ramp with my hand like this and then with this edge here I'm going to brush the ball up and down my hand. Now once you get the feel for that then you can add the finish. So you want to then go up and then finish in this manner. The key is when the ball leaves your hand you want to continue to go up with the racket and then relax like this if you can. So let's watch it again. 
Now if I want to do that to the deuce chord, because the blanket's up there, I can simply just turn my hand this way, where my fingers would be going towards what would be the, the center T. But notice how my body's still sideways. I'm going to brush up this way, and then once I get a feel for it, then I can finish. You'll see how the ball is going to go in, the, in more of a forward direction, where the deuce court would be. So as you can see, these two drills can be done very effectively and easily at home. Now we'll take a look at the next drill, drill number three, where you will progress it. We'll start hitting. So I'm going to move further back. I'm going to hold the racket all the way down. I'm actually going to hit the ball, but I'm actually going to start in what we call the racket drop position. And I'm going to work on swinging from left to right up to contact with that brushing sensation. So I want to really hear the spin, and then I want to finish in this half-finished position. Now you've got to be careful with this. You don't put too much strain on your arm. This is a great way for you to start to develop that swing path. So start in the racket drop, and I can hear that sound there. I also want to adjust my toss just slightly towards me. Let's try that again. You really, you're trying to work on getting that left to right swing path and that brushing sensation at contact. And you really want to make sure you're brushing up so you can generate more forward rotation on the ball. Alright, so once you're successful doing that, then you can move all the way back to the baseline and then start to hit full kick serves. Now you can make some modifications and still do this at home. Here I have a blanket hung up. You could do this in your backyard or um, as someone's recommended, you could serve with where you have a clothesline and hang something over that. But I'm going to get down on my knees here simply because on the kick serve, you're going to swing up a lot more than on a regular serve. So it may actually go over that blanket. So I'm going to start like this, start in my racket drop position. I'm going to make sure the toss comes back just a little bit. So it's, it's more in line with my head, but still in front. I'm going to work on brushing and then finishing out this way. You can do this over and over. And you listen, listen to the sound of just barely catching the ball. It's this tearing, brushing sound. But I can very effectively get a nice feel for what it's like to hit a kick serve. Firstly, starting with the hand brush drill and then adapting it from the racket drop swinging from left to right, and then finishing out this way. Okay, so once you've worked through the progressions, the final progression would be to come back behind the baseline and then try to put it all together. So let's take a look at the full kick serve. All right, so that ball bounced up nice and high and kicked off out to the right. And really focusing on that left to right and getting that brushing sensation through contact. Again, that ball broke out towards the right. Let's see one last one. All right, so that had a nice kick on it. See how it jumped out to the right.